what is going on um welcome back to the channel today is a different video because we got a new vehicle um it's an 05 jeep grand cherokee limited uh, it's got the 5.7 hemi in it um it's in really good condition really good condition i got a smoking deal on this thing uh, about twenty five hundred dollars <clears throat> Um, there's a few little things wrong with it. I can hear something in the back in the suspension that's kind of like rattling, so I'll be fixing that shortly. Um, I need to change the clock spring, so I'll be making a video on that. Um, today, uh, I was just going to show you the truck, the vehicle, and I'm changing out the pipe for um, the intake pipe, the the big giant plastic piece that's like in the way. I want to get a. I bought an air raid pipe, just the pipe. I'm not going to change out the air box because the air box um, brings in cold air from the outside if you follow uh, the trajectory of where that plastic piece. So it's a true cold air as long as I'm just changing out the pipe. Like if I was to change out the pipe and then put one of those air filters under the hood that connects to it that doesn't seal up or anything like that, then you're just sucking in hot engine air. So keeping the stock air box, just changing out the pipe. It's an air raid pipe. Uh, got it on eBay. Anyway, um, let me show you the Jeep and we'll get to it. All right, well, there she is. She is white. This, uh, when I pulled the engine cover, there was a giant rat's nest under this thing. Um, there's gonna be a lot to come. Like, I, I don't know. I've, I've kind of tossed around the idea of uh, building this out and put a Hellcat supercharger on it. I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, uh, so yeah, the air box. So if you look down right here, it actually sucks in air from the outside. So, you know, just changing out this piece right here, which is, it's not the best flow because it's this whole giant piece here. So we're going to change it out for one piece that just sits like that. Anyway, uh, it's kind of muddy. It just rained out here the other day. Um, we also bought property. I don't know if I've mentioned that on the channel yet. Uh, the desert area, high desert. But uh, so I, this piece is off right here. I have it. It's in the back. But uh, I just got it. I'm leaving it off until I change the clock spring. Uh, there's the pipe over there. But uh, extremely nice interior. Yeah. There is a there's a few things on the Jeep that are gonna need to be getting done. Like the valve covers on the driver's side is on the rear is leaking. I'm hoping it's not a stripped out valve cover bolt hole. And it's just the valve cover gasket. Because, I mean, those rubber gaskets, over time, they flatten out. And then they'll just let oil pass by. But as far as I can tell, that's the only thing that's wrong with it. I mean, um, nothing major. There's no hemi tick or anything like that. Uh, but, yeah, other than checking out bushings and suspension and uh, doing the valve cover gasket. It was missing a bunch of fuses and relays. Uh, I'm surprised this thing still drove. It, I swear there was like five of them that were missing. The radiator fan, high-low was gone. I don't know how this thing stayed cool when I drove it from Texas to Arizona. But anyway, let's go change out this pipe and uh, let's get to it. The big plastic airbox piece was one 10 millimeter. And then you undid the clamp for the throttle body and the airbox. One flat head screwdriver, boom, boom, 10 millimeter right there. Slide that joker off. All right, to get... All right, so to get the air, air box out, there's a 5 16ths right here. I used this setup right here to get it out because it's kind of tight in next to this um, coolant reservoir. Anyway, so um, this is what I was talking about, how if you leave your factory air box, it's already a cold air. So, like, there's this plate right here that's blocking bugs from getting in there. Um, what I'm going to do is, so you can pull this out. What I'm going to do is take cut these tabs off, and it'll make it open like that, and it'll just be open air, and it'll literally literally be cold air with a stock box and stock air filter. All right. So, uh, oh, to get the grill out, it was so easy. It was all of these plastic tabs. You just lift the middle of it and then get your screwdriver under the other piece, and lift it out. It was so simple. Um, 
All right, so now I am going to get these tabs off, put this back in, put the air box back in so we got true cold air. I mean, I don't care if the bugs go in there. I check my air filters and I clean them and replace them and all that. If you don't work on your stuff very much, then I would suggest not doing this because, you know, you're just going to have a dirty air filter faster. But for me, this is what I'm going to do. You don't have to do what I do. Let's get it. See, reinstalled, put back in, true cold air from the outside. All right, stick your old Fram air filter back in there. Get that on there, one-handed, like, like some kind of champion. All right, um, so yeah, there's also, um, a, a pipe that runs or not a pipe but a hose that runs from here all the way over to uh your crankcase ventilation hose here mine was all like worn out and beat up so i took i just plugged this side and i for now as you can see there's a hose running here <laughs> let me show you how i ghettoed it but uh i put a breather filter on it that's going to get fixed eventually it's just not top priority because it works right now but uh let me get the that air raid hose out because we got to stick this sensor in it um and then you know obviously connect it here so i'll be back it's going to come with this rubber grommet it goes in the hole so it could get us get a seal around that uh yeah uh, intake air temperature sensor um so we're going to get that on there and then we have both boots your uh your boot with the crease in it goes on this side straight boot goes on this side you couldn't see any of this before and it was really annoying every time i went to check my oil i would scrape my finger on that stupid thing so so much more room in here and i mean like you don't need this if you're not a person that works on your crap all the time you know it just it makes it easier getting stuff out of the way like now whenever i need to go do this valve cover gasket i don't need to mess with this this can stay installed whereas before it was in the way i had to take that stupid thing out you know and now it's true cold air like i was saying i left the grill off just to show you the system's complete you know connects right there to the air box you know stock air filter boom she's done son all right uh more videos to come valve cover gasket uh this this uh coolant neck here is leaking i ordered a new one of those so i'll be making a video about that soon um just a few odds and ends and you know this is the new project you know we live out here in the middle of nowhere in the desert we needed a you know dedicated light four-wheel drive because of the rain and muddy roads and whatnot but this will get the job done y'all anyways thanks for watching peace